story. See you later. Bye. <laughs> and just like that, I was friendless once again. <laughs> I wish you were here, Mom. I was still numb when Dad and I sat down for dinner that evening. I'll get it. I think it's a new client. Hello? Pardon me? What antibiotics? Oh, really? No, she didn't tell me that. Well, I'm flattered to hear it. I'm proud of her, too. I'll give her the good news. Um, Marianne, did anything out of the ordinary happen today? Um, who was that? Mrs. Brezioso. She called to tell me what a uh, good job you did this afternoon and to let you know what Jenny does in fact have a strep throat, but it feels much better. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you about it. Well, tell me now, it sounds very exciting. I told him everything, from taking Jenny's temperature to calling Dawn to riding the ambulance. Dad seemed very impressed. Mrs. Preziosa said she was extremely proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Y you are? Very. Gosh, thank you, Dad. <sighs> You're growing up right before my eyes. Well, I am 12. I know, but 12 means different things to different people. It depends how you carry it. Oh. Am I... Am I m more mature than you realize? Yes, I think you are, Marianne. Am I... Old enough to say is to stay out a little later when I babysit. Mm, well, ten seems a bit late for school nights. How about nine thirty on school nights and ten on Friday nights? Oh, perfect! Thank you, Dad. <sighs> oh, um, Dad, can I show you something? I'll be right back. What do you think? Um, um, do you think I could wear it this way? I mean, just sometimes. Not every day, though. Sure. Thank you, Dad. Before I went to bed last that night, I wrote two letters, one to Dawn and one to Christy, both for apologies. Sunday, February 8th. Members of the Babysitter's Club have been enemies for almost a month now. I can't believe it. Christy, Claudia, and Marianne, I hope you all read what I'm writing because I think our fight was is dumb, and you know that. I thought you guys were my friends, but I guess not. I'm, write, I'm writing this because tomorrow the four of us have to help out Jamie Newton's birthday party. I think it's going to be a disaster. I hope you need this. I hope you read this before then because... I think we should be prepared for the worst. P.S. If anybody needs to wants to make up, I'm ready. Stacy. Dear Dawn, please read this. Huh? Dear Dawn, I'm really sorry. I did use you a couple of times to make Christy mad, but I really like you, and I think you're one of my best friends. Christy or no Christy, I'm so sorry. Dawn, I'm so sorry, Dawn. I hope you'll forgive me. Love, Marianne. Oh, of course I forgive you. I'm sorry I got so upset. I'm so and I'm sorry I lied to you. <sighs> oh my gosh, Marianne, where are your braids? Do you like it? I love it. You look so pretty with your with your hair down. Oh my gosh, spin around. Let me see you from the back. Okay. I looked all over for Christy, but I couldn't find her anywhere. Where could she be? Shoot. I guess I'll slip this in her locker. Here we go. At 3.15 that afternoon, I arrived at the Newton's house with the other members. Hi! Hi, Marianne! It's my birthday today! Guess how old I am! Happy birthday, Jamie! How old are you? I'm 14!
today. That's this many. Hi, Marianne. Hi, girls. I'm glad you're here early. I can really use your help. Um, can you help me make the punch?